I'm quarantined and I like views. This is iDubs. He is a massive content creator on the platform who is the star of such shows as Content Cop and Kickstarter Crap. Put a pin in those, we'll get back to him. Now, <clears throat> there's been a bit of a kerfuffle around this gentleman that I think this gentleman, you know, Jay the Gent, ding, uh, can <laughs> really add a little bit of perspective to. So without further ado, take it away, Mr. Dubs. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of iDubs Complains. This is a very special episode where I get to tackle two topics that I've recently become very passionate about. That is a section of my audience who thinks they know me and my opinion on sex work. Okay, so quick TLDR for you. His girlfriend started an OnlyFans account. Now, what OnlyFans is, is basically exchanging nudes for money long and short you could consider it sex work i personally consider it like really <laughs> you're gonna pay somebody for news i like that's just not my like we're from generations we come from different worlds guys the world i come from is yeah you can get the nudes you can get yeah basically all of it if you holla at the chick irl uh when it comes to the internet uh, well, yeah, th there's a, an entire industry that uh, uh, could that consists of, I think, thousands, if not millions of bimbos to quote a quote an audience member uh, that <laughs> make tons of bread uh, just having suck. Uh, I don't want to call them suckers because that it's their money. You know, like I've never a uh, 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 stance that we take on this channel is that we do not tell a man what to do with his meat. That is his. That's we don't care. That's the most alphabetical thing ever. And so for him to be, I guess, OK with his girl doing this, who, get, who, who really gives a shit? You shouldn't. But seeing how we're here, seeing how everybody's sitting there tripping about it. uh, Let's check out the chick. Come on. Y'all know me. Y'all know me well enough to know this is where we were going with it. So this is the girl. I, I don't know a name. I really don't care to know a name. From all, uh, from all uh, accounts that I've been able to pick up, she's actually a terrible human being. But, but, it's a chick. What do you expect? I mean, seriously. <laughs> Fellas, y'all know me. Y'all know me. So as far as where do I land, y'all know me. Y'all, y'all know I am a sucker for a face. She got one. Yeah. I mean, she, she okay with the, in the cakery as well. And she, she's, definitely, she's definitely packing them cakes. But uh, from all accounts, the chesticles are not real. So, you know, a, a, a small notch down, but definitely, definitely worth the strokes. But either ways, uh, yeah. So what he's decided to do was to uh, take this into... Uh, you know, his opinions on sex work and uh, his, uh, what's the name, and, uh, the, and his audience. And that's what I find interesting because at his level, you, you really have fans. Like these people, and what's short for fans? Fanatical. And so as they realize that, you know, he's okay with his girlfriend basically getting into a whole bunch of e-thottery because that's really what it is, what I think's happened is that him, he's built, like, uh, like so many of his views come from, like I said, Content Cop, uh, t take that pin out of it, Content Cop and kickstar Kickstarter crap. And what he highlights most in those videos is that they're scams, that they're a waste of money. Like, just like, like cut it out. This is bullshit, you know? And the thing is, is that e thottery at its core is bullshit because... <laughs> I don't tell a man to do what to do with his meat. I don't tell a man what to do with his money, but you can do so many more productive things with both. That <laughs> at its core, e-thottery is, is, uh, oh, what's the name is, uh, is bullshit. So that's really where I think the core of the, uh, arguments coming in at, but the position that, uh, Mr. Dubs here takes is one of, you know, like uh, he, it's definitely defense mode. Let's keep going. You can sort of see where these two will collide. For those of you who are unaware of the drama I recently brought upon myself, 
I'll fill you in. My girlfriend started an OnlyFans account, which is a website where you can upload amateur porn. Anything from double penetration all the way over to lewd cosplay and everything in between. And uh, I think all of it is cool. Yeah. And here's the thing. This is where the title of this video really comes into play. Because, fellas, there's a little there's a little homework I want to give to you. Yeah, pass them cakes. Yeah, she's not a bad chick at all. This is a book that I read when I was 13 years old. I didn't fully understand it or grasp it until I was 28 years old. But <laughs> this is the story of Iceberg Slim, Pimp. Dave Chappelle even brought it up in his uh, stand-up special where, you know, there's a lot of psychology that goes into, you know, the dynamics between the male and the female. And one of the things that really always struck a chord with me is how willing he was, like, he would go out like, what a lot of people don't recognize, particularly when it comes to the pimp gang, that sound like Tariq Nasheed, right? Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you guys about the pimp gang. All right, all right. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Carol, my hair. <laughs> No, deal is that the pimp smashes and then he sends old girl to walk that track and get that money and bring it on back to daddy. You short? Sure? What the hell is wrong with you? And so in many ways, that's really the position that Ian, you know, I don't really know him like that, but finds himself in. Is that, hey, yeah, like, yo, his girlfriend is out there, you know, doing quote unquote sex work for money and Honestly, guys, it's been this has been the game for the longest time. All of the girls that are on, um, you know, the 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 list from what's that one girl named Azra Marath to Alinity, they are all they all have boyfriends that are basically pimping them out to you. You know, like yo, go on out there, get that money for daddy. It's it's, it's this is the test of time, guys. Here's the thing. It's a tale as old as time, not the test of time. Um, this is Ian. In this scenario, this is Ian. This guy has nigga send that money yet. This is uh, this is hold on. This is her. I'm waiting on her right now, Daddy. And to those who you know got that type of bread and are just oh so quick to throw their money at these broads, you know, hey, they they're the ones sending sending the paper. But long and short, you know, we're going to go back over her right quick because she's not a bad looking chick. She really isn't. I'm sorry. Like, she may be a terrible human being. I, I've heard the, these are these are stories that are running around. But when it comes to the eyeballs, yeah, I ain't going to sit there and pay for no news and no, no wild stuff like that. It's just something pretty to look at as far as I'm concerned. But <laughs> the deal is, is that there are tons of gentlemen like this in the world who will. Golly, this meme kind of gets on my nerves because it didn't um, because of like it, it, how it's kind of matriculated during the whole uh, COVID situation. It went from like this white boy, white girl, and now it's all completely like colored in. It's like, come on, guys. Can we find is there more originality in the world instead of just switching that stuff out? But either ways, let's keep going with uh, Ian's video. I know. I I didn't think it would be a controversial opinion either. A good amount of people are just doing the reason. But that's the thing. As like as as a, as a seemingly square dude, right? You're not supposed to pimp, apparently. Uh <laughs> no, it is a matter of that being your woman. Those being things that if you are in a serious relationship with the individual, you'd like to keep for yourself. There is that element to it that, you know, like me personally, would I uh, want my girlfriend to do such a thing and, you know, expose herself in such a manner for the world to see? No. But if she bringing me the bread, then I'm definitely going you know, keep a, keep, keep, keep a, it, like, uh, keep a with it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, nah, nah, by all means, get those suckers for every single dollar you can out of them. 
That that would literally be my position. But as far as the relationship between me and her, I could never marry her. I could never take that woman underneath the eyes of God and be like, yeah, oh yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, I want to really commit to this for the rest of my life. Even though by all technical means, she may have earned it. Um, still, <laughs> there's a difference between dating and marriage now, isn't there? So like I, the the position that I, I I come at it from is one of someone who's been around and on the internet since the ASL days. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that might've taken a few of you back. And you know, this guy, he got really big, uh, basically calling out scams, but your lady is scamming the same way a does the same way, uh, all the ethots do. And instead of calling it out, you're like, Oh yeah, I'm cool with it. That's where I think the hypocrisy is the most prevalent. If you ask the gentleman, you know, uh, <laughs> and there's, and, and here's the deal. If you're going to like be, if you're like, I, I think it, there is a level of, yo, ownership to it that you should have. And I don't think that sex work has, but so much to do with it. I think it's like, you know, maybe the frosting and what makes it so salacious, uh, of the cake, but the, the, the eggs and, <laughs> and batter and shit. That is the fact that you've built your career off of, you know, calling out scams and ultimately e thottery is a gigantic scam. I mean, but ultimately, like I say, I believe it to be a scam because I don't pay for women like that. Like, that's just, I, I like chicks that like me, man. I really do. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna sit there and be like, oh, no. Like, yo, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you all my money and you're not even touching my junk? Nah, fam. <laughs> nah, not even at all. We're not playing that game over here. I never have. Never had to because females like me. I'm, I'm a charming individual. Anyways, guys, so I think, is that about uh, all I can say about it? Yeah, because he's just gonna go into how, um, you know, uh, other content creators uh you know were saying how like yo yeah it's, this is your lady this is supposed to be the female that that you hold dear and, and close to your heart well the deal is, is that mr dubs here has the heart of a pimp so get that money my dude definitely but it i i think it'd be a little bit more advantageous to admit that yeah this is she's bringing me this bread like we bringing this bread together we we, we out here getting it like this i don't think there's anything wrong with that ultimately but own it. You know, sit there and be like, oh, yes, this is about sex work. Like, bruh, I, once again, I don't think nudes and like, I, I think there is a, a thin line. Any Because work is what you're getting paid to do. So by all technical means, yeah, but it's not like she catching like a whole, he, it's not like he putting on a track. Like, that's the thing. Like I, I, like, I think we're so far removed from the days of yore that most of you guys only got your knowledge about the pimp game from an episode of South Park. One of the most hilarious episodes of South Park. <laughs> but, <laughs> but there is so much uh, truth to the idea. Man, what happened, HBO? Why HBO take uh, Pimps Up Hose Down off the air? You know, like, y'all should be watching this type of stuff to realize and recognize that, yo, you can't save every one of these hoes and you definitely can't save every one of these dudes. All right. Like people going to do as they as they as they want to do. It's really no calling you. And this is another also another great highlight of how, um, you know, just just like like, yeah, like it's the Internet. There's a bunch of weirdos on the internet. It is what it is. You can't really, uh, you can't really be too surprised when someone comes out with a, uh, with a position that doesn't, you know, jive with your own sensibilities. Because from, from me at a personal standpoint, like I said, I wouldn't be able to marry that chick, but I definitely be able to like, you know, string her along. The chick that I'd prefer to marry, the one I'd like to take before God would be the one that, isn't um that that hasn't had the world see your cooter can you dig it <laughs> like, that's where i come from with it but hey different stages of life right so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it like this like hold up because uh Sorry, my dude. Your chick's all right, man. Like, <laughs> all the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead. Do that too. No one's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want to get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube, bit shooting like, not the biggest fan of your boy over here. And bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know.
What do you think in the comments? Is she hotter than Alinity? This is Alinity. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I, I think she's hotter than Alinity. It's because she's like, I guess she has more of an American feel to her. Maybe uh, Alinity's uh, Colombian. But, you know, either ways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until the next one, notice how slowly I did that, right? Because, yeah, nice to look at. It's nice to look at. It's a big part of the reason I'm even doing this damn video. That views. And, hey, like, you know, shit. It ain't a big, you know, I don't particularly consider such a thing uh, pimping. Like, you know, I can see how some suckers out there will be like, oh, yeah, I want to give you all the money in my pocket. Me? No, because you're not touching my meat. But the deal is that there's a ton of guys that would. So, you know, shoot, power to them. Power to her. Have fun, guys. Until the next one.